Thornbury Theatre. It is time for our main event of the evening. This will be a five on five elimination match. The bout will continue until all members of one team have been eliminated. It is now time to fight to survive! Introducing first. Introducing first, the Eternal Edward Dusk. Edward Dusk is the captain of the Allegiance of Vengeance. Says it's time to get rid of the icons. He's been the catalyst for war tonight. Edward Dusk. And his first recruit is a man that we know very well that has been a thorn in the side of the icons. A veteran of this great sport. Caveman Ugg. Man! Oh! Member number two of the Allegiance of Vengeance. Look at these two maniacs so far on this team. And you can see why the Icons don't want guys like this in the main event. It's terrifying being up close to them. A 17-year veteran is Caveman Ugg. And you want to talk about bringing in backup. One of the most dangerous tag teams you will ever Gabriel see. Gabriel Eros, Eli Theseus, La Paraya! MCW World Tag Team Champions for 155 days. These men are the inaugural OPW Tag Team Champions. Three-time Riot City Wrestling Champions. They are the premier tag and team. And introducing their fifth team member. If they even have one. Do they even have a fifth man? We'll find out soon. That's Mikey Broderick! Mikey Broderick! Hey, is from back. Squat City! Mikey Broderick! I did not think. Mikey Broderick would answer the call. The last time we saw Mikey Broderick, he was having a disagreement of sorts with Ricky South at Ballroom Brawl. And check out that fresh tee on Mikey. You picked that up at merchbuddy.com.au, hopefully. The mayor of Squat City is back in MCW. The Universal Soldier returns. He has answered the call from Edward Dust and has joined the Allegiance of Vengeance. There is no rest day for Mikey. It is always chest day. Edward Dust is crazy like a fox and Mikey Broderick might be the perfect fifth man. I can't believe I'm even saying that. This man, he's powerful, he's strong, he's a veteran. He's one of the best athletes in the world. And he's the fifth man. Mikey Broderick is back. He's got some unfinished... And their opponents. Some unfinished business with Ricky South. Oh, the Nims, speaking of business. These are the men who mean business. These are the men who've put the business of pro wrestling on their back. They've taken MCW to a whole new level. The icons. 
Being accompanied to the ring by Rocky Monero. Oh, oh Rocky. I think Rocky this wants is the to team jump on. The 2024 Ballroom Brawl winner, Gibbs. Ricky yeah. South. Get out. John Get out. and Nick, the Kairos brothers. One half of the MCW Tag Team Champions, the Loose Sledge, Adam Brooks. And then the only three-time MCW World Heavyweight Champion, the Business Slicks. They are Team Icons. What a team. What a collection of talent. An incredible, oh, no worries, boys. Nick and John K. Roos, excited to see their debut in professional wrestling. They're both great athletes. Are you gonna see it? The pride of New South Wales, the pride of Sydney. Here we go. Rocky, a chair just for you, our general manager. You made me and a headset for our general manager. And an ass kisser for our general manager. You know Nibs wasn't gonna give up a chair. Nibs, are you sure? You sure? Do you wanna keep your job, Nibs? Hey, hey. hey. Simon, shouldn't you be focused? It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you here for the main event. We need a main event commentary team. And I think we've event. got one now. Well, we see the icons make their entrance. Heavily credential plus the Kairos brothers. Don't they look good? Don't they, they do. look good? Nick. Incredible Ooh. physiques. Training with the icons, that's what happens. It is. You get a bit of body biz in your life, a bit of and body you're biz. ready to go. Absolutely. You learn from the best. What a wonderful night tonight. Thornbury Theatre, the house the icons built. This is fantastic. Sold out again. No, you're welcome. We're all eating good here. And you're eating a lot of something, I can tell you that, Rocky. It's never a coincidence that we sell out now that the icons have been on top. Hey, what I say? I can only say you're welcome so many times. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny you talk about sellouts. <laughs> Very you. much so when it comes to the icons. It's, it's getting hot and we're getting into spring, but you are on thin ice, my friend. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, eh? Here we go. It's Team Icons and the Allegiance of Vengeance. What do you think uh, of their team, Rocky? Ah, uh, it's, it's okay. I wasn't prepared for Mikey Broderick, but, you know... Slex will take care of him. Mikey Broderick, the last time we saw we him We need here, Edwin to get control here. The last time we saw Mikey Broderick here, he was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ricky South, the winner of the ballroom brawl. We see him there, an associate with a gentleman's agreement with the icons. He's a true gentleman. Look at him. Yeah. Look at him. Everything about him screams gentleman. Mm. He's just a good, fair, honest man. Ricky but South. The true essence of a professional wrestler. Correct. A real gentleman, a real man, someone you could trust. That's why he's here with the icons. You're very good at this, Simon. Thanks. You're very insightful. I learned from my Old mate down the end can do some work. Oh. I don't have a PhD in talking BS, unfortunately, but... <laughs> I'm excited for this one. Oh, and Adam Brooks. We do. We do have the championship. With a bit of feedback. He's a bit hot recently, he's been very aggressive, but I still love the boy. Adam Brooks though, he's stating facts, telling the fans here, they have the chance, you paid to see us. Well he's one, one half of the greatest tag team in the history of this country. Yeah. Who's the other half? Ooh, you. Good question. It would be your general manager, the main event, your dad, Rocky Monero. We got Nick starting off here. The Kairos brothers. Right. I told you, they're full okay. of confidence. I've got these boys full of confidence. They're ready to go. And there goes Mikey Broderick to start off with. You know, they're world Ring class the Ring the bell. Don't want to take your job, champ. Thank you. You know, Nick was telling us before, he was a standout in rugby over in Sydney. He played in high school and university and everywhere else. He's won medals and championships and he's got a trophy case full. Great athlete. Pull it. You know what? Well, there you go. Strong headlock there. Strong headlock. He locks up with Mikey Broderick. The Universal Swolger. Two Jitsu Championships. Fights on the straight. These guys are credentialed. Look at the muscle development too. When you're in there with someone like Mikey Broderick to still look good. It's impressive. Look at the 
Oh! And that's the power of Mikey Broderick. It's a good thing he took up that fresh new t-shirt because now we can actually see the definition of the Universal Swolger. I've heard he's the definition of definition. He's the definition of definition. But speaking of definition, speaking, speaking of bodies, of high definition, oh. this is why we created those TVs. Flex, the MCW World Champion, the only three-time World Champion, and will remain that way until he decides to hang up the boots. Locks up with Mikey Broderick. Broderick Ooh. tries to knock Flex off his feet. Two powerhouses, two of the best physiques in all of wrestling. The business and the Universal Swolger, like two freight trains meeting in the middle. Oh, two vascular freight trains. Oh my goodness. Mikey Broderick oh. with a huge drop kick. There is no denying that Mikey Broderick is an incredible athlete. Oh, a great choice for fifth man. I can't, even I have to say it. Look at Broderick just going to town on Slex. Oh, oh, look at that. Man. Oh. But Broderick just gets... That's it, Mikey! You know hey, what to do, hey, You put him down. You put him down. Broderick! Oh, attempting some ass to grasp, but wasn't going to happen. And Mikey Broderick tags in Slags. Uh, tags in Ugg. Oh, tags in Ugg, sorry. I'm distracted by the Universal Swolger. It's Slags and Ugg. Slags has been a thorn in the side of the prehistoric juggernaut. Attaboy. Atta boy, here comes the true gentleman, the example. Ricky Sound. Slex, like a coward, going to the example, Ricky South. One of the few men who can match size and power with us, Ricky South, deceptively huge. Ooh. <laughs> what was about the uh, unstoppable train and the immovable object? <laughs> Both of these men. Oh! Two powerhouses here in MCW. A blind tag is Adam Brooks. Is the legal man and oh. Ugg has no idea. He's in no man's land. That's it. That's it's a my mugging. boy. That's my boy. He's a mugging by the icons. Ricky South using all five of those legal seconds, but Ugg powers through with a double! A double clothesline! line! And the MCW faithful is on their feet! And in comes Edward Dusk! Edward Dusk, this absolute psycho! Adam Brooks has felt defeat at the hands of Edward Dusk before. Could we see history repeat itself? Dusk is a madman, unhinged! Oh, Adam Brooks oh. so slick, so quick. Stopped him momentum, fired back. And back in control is the loose ledge. Adam Brooks. An MCW Grand Slam champion. He's won everything that has to be in this company. And he's rattled. Tags in Slex. The business. Oh, Edward Dusk loving this. He's wanted a shot at the world title. He's now got Slex in the ring. Can he prove himself? Does he deserve to be in there? Slex reverses. He throws Edward Dusk into the Icon's corner and Slex. Flex with some knife edge chops to Edward Dusk as the Kairos brothers cheer on. Flex reminding everyone this is the house of the icons. Oh, who's going back in? Oh, bit of a sneaky double tag there. We've got Nick and John Kairos in the ring right now. Social media superstars making their wrestling debut. Double suplex. Oh, and the Kairos brothers. Now these boys, I've been told, you know when the WWE says, don't try this at home? Well, I think they tried it at home. Hey, it's paying off. These guys are natural athletes. Oh. Look at the leap from John. John, like his brother Nick, a standout in all sports in high school. Yeah, we know, we know. They almost got into the NRL. They're very big. I was going to say bat tennis and rounders and all of those things, but yeah. The NRL as well. They can do it all. <laughs> well, they've just been it, given a ticket to reality as Edward Dusk. Rocky, did you take the boys through chop training? 
Uh, unfortunately, no. We try to not do job training. The whole plan is usually to not get chopped. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, and Eli Theseus. Oh, no. The Kairos brothers, they betrayed the Perea at MCW Vendetta last September. They didn't betray anybody. They made a smart business decision and joined the greatest team in Australia. Look at Eli Theseus. Oh. No fear from Nick Kairos. Oh, John with a spine buster. Picture perfect. And he tags in his brother. He goes, Nick shoots. Eli Theseus up the road to go for 3D. Oh! 3D and Eli Theseus. No, no, Nims. That's the KD. They told me backstage. That was incredible. And a doggies for good measure. <laughs> Wait a minute. Boys, I've watched myself. What a move. What a maneuver by Eli Theseus. We know what's next. Get the Dolmares out. We're going to be smashing some plates. Tell you what, international cake oh, hey. oh, oh, that, that was closed down as well. And it's an oh, no. It's a Pier 6 brawl. Edwin, Edwin, get some control. Oh, Flex, Brooksy. Brooksy. Oh, take it out. Two of team icons on the same page. Oh, Mikey Broderick. Mikey Broderick. Getting out. out. Mikey Broderick on the hunt for the Swally Grail. Oh, meanwhile. Probably wasn't his best idea. Nick. Nick Kairos. I don't need to tell you oh. what's happened. And Caveman Ugg is going to send him all the way back to Sydney. Caveman Ugg, the only man in the ring right now, is taking control here. Oh, clever move there. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, Nick with a springboard! Oh, oh no. He's but I've caught him! I've caught him! Oh, a big pole driver! He spiked him! And Nick is out! Nick, Nick is out! Nick has been eliminated! It's okay. It's okay. One Nick, man down for Nick a go. Nick is out! Advantage! The allegiance of vengeance! And Ricky South. Not over yet. The ballroom brawl winner taking care of business. A big stomp from Ugg. Oh, and the agility, the big man with it. Oh, and he takes out Dusk. And he takes out Eli Theseus. Ricky South back in control. Oh, oh no. That's a pole driver. Ricky. That's a cover. Oh no, Edwin's saying no. He's not the legal man. Oh no, Ricky. Ricky, turn Ricky, around. Hide him, hide him, Ricky. Edward Dusk. We made it loud. Has got him. It is chaos. And that's exactly what Edward Dusk loves. Look at him, he's fed off it. The madness is being unleashed from Edward Dusk. He's a psychopath. Yes, but he's our psychopath, Rocky, and look at him. He's unleashed. He is unhinged. The Eternal One can smell blood. For Edward Dusk, he thinks Ricky South is this hired gun. Here to ruin his career. Here to stop his progress. Well, Edward Dusk should stop blaming other people. Ricky South is just better. That is true. That is true. He's the example. It's not just a nickname. It's not just something just plucked out of thin air. This is the example of what a pro wrestler should look like, how a pro wrestler should act. He is a professional wrestler. And maybe Edward Dusk is just delusional. Ricky South going for a pole driver, but Dusk powers out and reverses it. Dusk ducks. A big cutter from Edward Dusk. Come on, Dusk. Ricky South is in no man's land. He doesn't know where he is. 
There is a big Edward Dusk shaped target on the back of Ricky South. Oh! oh. Ricky South just flattened him. Have you heard the term never in doubt, boys? I haven't. Oh. Edward Dusk. A big suplex. And Edward Dusk has cleared house. Edward Dusk, we don't see it often. Going for the suicide dive there. Dusk going aerial. Rocky, you hear it ringside. Are you nervous? Nothing to be nervous about yet, but where are these man-men going? Dusk and Ricky South. Oh! Well, the fans better get out of the way. They're getting a taste of the example oh. up close and personal. Dusk you to get back in the ring. Hang on, Edward Dusk. Ricky, you gotta get back in the ring. Ricky, Where is he going? Ricky South is retreating like a coward, and Dusk is giving he's no, giving pursuit. Edward Dusk is a psycho, and he's not not stopping the chase. Well, they've got, they've, Edward they've, they've Dusk just... and Ricky South have both been counted out. It is, it is now, it is now three on four. We regroup. We still have the two greatest professional wrestlers in the world. Round four. But, well, you don't, you've just lost your ace in the hole. We're okay. You've We're just okay. lost Ricky South. We are okay. Ricky South is done. You're down two men, Rocky. Hims. We're okay. Oh. Hims, look at who's left for Team Icons. Exactly. You've got two men who are triple crown winners here in MCW. Adam Brooks, Slex, like Rocky said, the two best professional wrestlers. Gabriel Eros, though. This guy's crazy. Brooksy just flattens Gabriel Eros straight into that turnbuckle. Oh. And Adam. that is not where oh. Gabriel Eros wants to be. Wait a minute. John Bernard with a, a blind tag there. John's tagged in. Okay. He's confident. He's got something to show. The Perea. Oh, what's he thinking? Beautifully hit there, a bit of white noise. Goes for the cover and a kick out at one. Oh, John Bernard getting a bit, a bit too confident, going up top. Oh. Yeah, I think you might have picked the wrong guys, Rocky. He really is in the wrong part of town right now. But I had faith, I had faith. I had Adam, I had Slicks. And they are frustrated. Brooksy. Telling John Bernard beforehand, you need to tag Slex. But John wanted to take matters into his own hands. Superplex from Gabriel Eros. John Bernard is out. Gabriel Eros. Oh, and Slex. 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 Slex saves. It's going to take more than a superplex to take him out. Gabriel Eros, I've seen that look before. It's like a rabid dog. John Bernard goes. Oh, a big suplex by Gabriel Eros. And in comes Eli. The Perea just bullying John right now. This is really unprofessional. Wait a minute. We know what's next. This is it. Setting him up. Kelly Nicta! I'm a bit concerned about the MCW faithful. The language on them tonight is appalling. Well, they can count to three. John has been eliminated. Probably all they can count up The Kairos brothers are out. And it is just down to Slex and Adam Brooks. What a showing, though. Big respect to the Kairos brothers. Oh, Adam Brooks! Quick cover! Brooksy capitalizing! Adam Brooks. Eli Theseus has been eliminated. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Brooks. It is Brooksy and Slex. Broderick with the cover! Brooksy kicks out! Adam Brooks and Slex. The final members of Team Icons. 
How'd you go there, Eli? How'd you go there, mate? Yeah, pretty well, I can tell you that. See you, Theseus. See you in December, brother. See you in December. Bad. Flex. Mikey Broderick. We know what's going to happen. Asta Grass, Mikey. One. What a squat. And what a splash from Broderick. Adam Brooks seeking DDT. Mikey Broderick was ready, though. What teamwork from the icons right now. Slexecution! Oh, and there goes good Broderick. Good night, Broderick. Do I need to repeat the term? Never in doubt. We have eliminated. the two greatest men in wrestling. It is Slex and Adam Brooks, two Grand Slam champions in MCW. Caveman Ugg and Slex. They have both had their wars. Caveman Ugg. He is fresh off a trip to Japan and he wants to put business with a giant oh, close sign. God. He just kicked Slex neck first into that turnbuckle. That did not look good. He kicked him all the way back to England. And Slex is rattled. Slex, is, Slex looks like he's about to be extinct. It's Caveman Ugg. Oh, what never, a charge. Never count out the business. Oh, the power of this man. He's not going to get him, is he? Oh, of course he is. Thinking business bomb on Ugg. Whoa! And he nails it. it! I guess like Rocky said, never in doubt. Kicks out! He's kicked out of the business bomb! Look, I'm not gonna discount how good Ugg is. I've been in this man, the ring with this man, he buried me right here on this day. He is an incredible, incredible competitor. But he's not Slex. Brooksy, Slex. Gabriel Eros, Caveman Ugg. Oh, Slex with that great transition into the close of business. Could he put the big man to sleep? Ugg is smack bang in the middle of the ring. He's got nowhere to go. And all Gabriel Eros can do on the corner is watch. How is Ugg still going? How is he still alive? With that adrenaline from Caveman Ugg. A big monkey flip. And Ugg can smell. Slex! Ugg's going for the kill! Slex powers out. Oh, oh no. Could this be? Oh, he's gonna spike him. Oh, oh no. big spike! And the icon! Slex has been! Icons are down to we one. Are you right there, Rocky? What are you doing? Just getting some Uber Eats for later? Uh, yeah. yeah, look at this. Adam Brooks is still in. Brooks is still in. You should add some onion rings. The Thornbury Tap House is a great little feed. Shut I up, Nims. Oh, and the Icons are in trouble. It is a two to one advantage for the Allegiance of Vengeance. But Adam Brooks is still in. We always say it. One of the best wrestlers in the world. Our general manager, Rocky Minera, getting some comfort food for later. As the icons prepare to count the lights. Look at Ugg. He can smell defeat. Never count Adam, out Adam Brooks. Brooks. I believe in Brooksy. Yeah, well. Brooksy is being manhandled. Absolutely manhandled. There's one person I have faith in. It's Adam Brooks. You keep saying that. But he's outnumbered. I can do math. Two to one. Brooksy. Brooks. Brooksy is in no man's land as he's setting him up. But he's going exactly where he wants to be, where he's comfortable, up top, thinking Swanton. No. Nope. No one home. Uh, 
Adam Brooks is the sole survivor here in this five on five fight to survive. And he's about to get a tour of the caves. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Slex, Edward get rid of Slex. Edward get rid of Slex. Hey, that's what, that's Robbie Thorpe. What's Robbie Thorpe doing here? Edward turn around, Robbie Thorpe has just taken out. Caveman Ark! Edwin! Turn around, Robbie Thorpe! Yeah, turn around, Edwin! Turn around! Robbie Thorpe is just knocked out! Caveman Ark with the assist! And Adam Brooks! Adam Brooks with an assist Caveman from Robbie Thorpe! Caveman has been eliminated! With an assist from Robbie Thorpe! With an assist from Robbie Thorpe! Sorry, Rocky, what, was, what were those three words what again? What was all that about? Never in doubt. And remember, it's yes, yet. When you address me, Nims, it's yes, yet. Is that understood? All of a sudden, I'm... Is that understood? Yeah. Yes, chef. Yeah. And Gabriel Eros! Gabriel Eros is fired up! Adam Brooks! Brooks and Eros! Talk about Gabriel Eros with that heart. The Perea. Gabriel Eros is the sole survivor. It Not is one yet. on one. It is one on one. He hasn't survived anything yet, Nims. Gabriel Eros with his biggest test of his career. He's in the ring one on one with one of the greats in Adam Brooks. Brooks, he ducks it. And we know what's at stake. The winner of this match is going to call the shots at Endgame. Pick the stipulation for the tag team title match. And boy, do I have a surprise for you when we win this. Oh. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Can't wait to hear it. Gabriel Eros. Ooh. Gabriel Eros has made his way to the corner. Both men are completely spent. And I should point out too, Gabriel Eros wouldn't be there on his own if it wasn't for Robbie Thorpe. I still have a feeling that you might have had something to do with that one, Rocky. I was ordering Uber Eats. You said so yourself, Rocky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What'd you order? A giant English buffoon? Yeah, full English. A full English breakfast. Yeah. You're giving zero stars to that delivery. We're all stars here, Nims. We're all stars. Adam Brooks. About to say, he almost had the upper hand. Oh, and referee Edward Lay has just been taken out. Adam Brooks still Both in the fight. Flatten. Both men flatten. Oh, but we've got we've got the referee down. It's down to Adam Brooks. What are you it's down to Gabriel Eros. What are you going to say? Rocky, man. Rocky, man. Oh, he, no, 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 I think he's going to jump in for Edward. He's going to make the count. Rocky's just left commenting. He's going to be the official. Our general manager. Oh! oh. Flying elbow! Have you ever seen a more stylish elbow drop? The Falcon elbow! It's Eli Theseus! Oh no! Eli Theseus! Eli Theseus has finally got his hands on Rocky Monero! This is ridiculous. Get up, Edwin. We've got an illegal man in the ring oh. right now. Oh no! Hades Cuss! Hades Cuss! Edwin! Edwin, get back up! Gabriel Eros has got the victory for the Allegiance of Vengeance. Here are your winners of Fight to Survive, the Allegiance of Vengeance. And the fate and the stipulation of the main event of MCW Endgame is in the hands of the Pariah. It was an eye for an eye. It was Hades' curse. An unlikely assist after Robbie Thorpe took out Caveman Ark and tipped the scale towards Team Icons. Oh, Eli Theseus asking for a mic.
You know what this means, yeah? You know what this means? Rocky, Adam, and all you icons, you've put us through hell. So now, it's our turn to put you through hell. Listen, December 8th, Melbourne Pavilion, end game. The Barea, Rocky Monero, Adam Brooks, MCW Tag Team Championship. Three stages of hell. Oh my God, it's official. We heard it there from Eli Theseus on December 8th. A war that has spanned years and crossed state lines. Money, power, fame, family, betrayal. On December 8th, three stages of hell. Two teams, only one's gonna walk out with bragging rights, the championships, and only one team is gonna put an end to the longest reigning feud in MCW. Well, thank you very much for joining us here at MCW Fight to Survive 2024. Use the hashtag MCW Fight on the socials. A big thank you to The Last Martyr for the use of their song, Requiem. Three stages of hell. The Perea have been through it and now, this is the house that the Icons built, but at the Melbourne Pavilion, December the 8th, 3 p.m. Make sure you get yourself there for the epic conclusion to 2024. mcwtix.com.au For Simon Tackler, I've been Nimsaw. This has been MCW Fight to Survive. We'd love to know what you think. MCW Fight on the socials. And again, a big thank you to The Last Martyr for the use of Requiem as the official theme song of Fight to Survive.